installing a Intel M.2 solid state onto a Asus Z170 motherboard. Uh, new technology here, so a uh, little tricky. This is my M.2 connection port. You'll notice that there are several uh, mounting points. These are not screws. There's nothing to peel off. I did not find the instruction manual to be very helpful. Um, included in my kit was one little bag with uh, a mounting point and a screw. So what I'm going to do is take a look at the drive. And I know that this is an 80. So what I'm going to do is take the nut from the kit, uh, bolt that down by hand, and then I will uh, press the unit down and finish. Be back in a sec. So I've gone ahead and tightened that in to the uh, 80 slot there by hand. Note when I'm coming in with this M.2 drive, I'm coming at about a 45 degree angle, well, maybe a little less than that, and then it will be resting down. That mount needs to be in there, otherwise the drive will not lay flat, and if you do try to screw it down, uh, somehow you're going to snap the board. There you have it, the uh, drive is installed. You can see there, again, the mounting peg and the screw sandwiching it in. Uh, it is necessary to use that peg. Uh, you will see that there's a little bit of clearance between the board and the drive. Uh, this mounting kit, the nut and the screw came with my motherboard. It was not included with the solid state. So um, make sure you've got that if you do not I don't have any idea where you would even go about finding them, so do your homework before you get too deep.